Hello, I'd like to invite you to practice a Shakti standing exercise with me that will help to ground you, centre you, release, elevate and recharge you. So please bring your feet first of all as if you're a ballerina in the first position, heels together and then bring your heels out so that the feet are parallel, the second toe is parallel and the knees are over the toes, bent so you don't see the toes when you look down. And then you're going to tuck your tailbone under, engage your navel, pull your abdominals in and up, lifting through your diaphragm and then opening out through the pectorals, releasing the shoulders and reaching up through the back of the neck and out through the crown to the sky. And then in this position, we find our balance. And this means we are finding the softness in the joints of our ankles, our knees and our hips, so that they work together as a concertina, giving us suspension. And then from here, we're going to shift the weight from one side to the other. And we do that by keeping one knee bent while the other straightens. And then through the center, both knees bent and to the other side, like this. Inhale left, exhale right. Now we're going to not just shift from the side, but also release down into that leg, as if we're driving a uh, screw into the ground. And at the same time, we're going to release the head and the arm. So you imagine that your head is like a jug of water and you're pouring water out, feeling the gravity, pulling your weight of your head down and your arm is also released like this. And you feel a little stretch across the side of the neck and the ribs from the shoulder. And then you're going to push back up through this bent knee to the center. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale through the mouth and inhale through the nose. pressure under the foot with the bent knee, we feel that there is a line of energy that's coming up from under the sole of the foot, through the leg, through the hip, and up to the navel. And then from the navel, it comes up to the bottom of the lower rib on the opposite side. And then we release down to the other side. So you feel that line coming up rolling up through your body, lifting and then releasing. And then this line is going to go even further up, so rolling up the leg, through the hip, through the navel, through that opposite lower rib, and then up through the rib cage and just under the armpit, lifting the armpit, but without actually lifting the shoulder. Keep that shoulder down and then releasing. And you see that line coming up and release. So keep your navel working, that's your center. So you have your center of gravity like about here at this point. And now to continue with this line that comes up to under the armpit, we're going to also lift that elbow up and then down, 
Lifting the elbow up to the side and releasing. And then we extend a little further. So the elbow and then the wrist to the side as if you're reaching then to the wall over on that side. And then from here, as we come on to your left bent knee, we're going to mount onto your right leg. Actually, this is your, your right knee and this is your left leg. So you're going to mount onto your left leg, pushing off. And as you push off, you're going to lift up the leg that was bent and mount onto a straight leg. And you're going to do it such that you have this arm counterbalancing and it's going to stretch out to the side. And the ideal is to create a straight line. Between your leg and your arm, your straight leg and your straight arm. And we're still leading with the elbow and the wrist to the side. And then also as we come down, we lead with the elbow, coming down to the navel alternately. And then the arms begin to do a kind of figure of eight, sweeping over the top of the head and down and around below the hips. And this is what's going to charge us. So we elevate as we lift that leg, we release to the side, we keep our balance through our center, through our abdominals, and we charge ourselves as we reach and stretch into space with our arms. charge, that centering, that elevation, that flow of vitality. And this is an example of a Shakti standing exercise that I will be presenting in the new 40-day class, Shakti dance class, which you can have a taster of at the link above and you will also find that that's accompanied by several instructional webinars where I'll be breaking each exercise down in the same way that we just did today so that you can really go deeply into the exercises and get their full energetic benefits. So if you'd like to join us for the 40-day practice, you can also find the link. And if you'd love to also learn more about this practice and how these movements work on an energetic level and how to combine them to teach them yourself, you can join us for the upcoming international Shakti Dance teacher training. And that is set to begin in May. And we have a few 
online weekends and we have in the middle the main part is a two-week live intensive at Giulia di Galese which is a wonderful country retreat house near Rome and here we will gather and move together and dance and sing and breathe together for the two weeks a wonderful transformational experience where you really get to meet some wonderful people from all over the world and I really look forward to seeing you and have you join us. Lots of love and blessings. Take care.